but I did want to ask a question. Uh, how many here, definitely on this side, but over here, who's ever received homework before? Who liked it? It's OK. It's OK. It's not terrible. You guys got a little bit. Um, throughout my career, I've given a lot of homework. Received a little bit, but I've given a lot. So I come from background in software sales. I give my customers homework stuff to bring back to me. I was in finance and did some sales with that. And gave them some homework, too, to give back to me. And before, I'm not that old. But before that, I spent about a decade in uh, fitness and personal training with a whole lot of clients and gave them a lot of homework. So a problem that came up frequently is giving them homework and stuff like this, which is super unprofessional, right? Not the best documentation you want to go home with. I'm just spend a lot of time with my personal trainer or my doctor or whatever it is, and they give you a post-it note. That's what we do all the time. Write down their work, get on there, and give it back to them. Really bad for record keeping because this ends up crumpled up in your pocket or in the car and in Florida, both those places are sweaty and gross. So it does not gonna last for you at all. It leads to woes. Wanted to use the word woe today. So utilization woes as well. You try to stick this on your wall, leave it in a gym somewhere, it's gonna get picked up by one of the strays that Max's app didn't quite get rescued yet for you out there or it's gonna get stepped on. It's not very, very functional, easy to use. So solution that I came up with, I was excited to work on for this project is something called Hang From The Bar. And a uh, really exciting application is just uses digital documentation, basically, in order to replace this with something digital, something that is better for record keeping that you can always go back to yourself and your trainer, your coach, keep you accountable and see the kind of progress you're making and what's been done. Also, durable. Well, I mean, break the screen on your your iPad, that's on you. But durable, as durable as it can be, the data is going to be there for you. Better than a post-it. Better than a post-it as much as possible. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's jump in. This is Hang the Bar Up. And uh, the cute little image there is generated by AI as well, which I did draw at first. So if you, yes, I was the AI on part of that. I drew, I drew it first. I can show you. So I did draw it. Uh, what it's going to do for us is generate a, a, say, a random workout, but it is actually specific. It's prescribed. So the database does have exercises that are for a particular client. So for example, if I cannot do a handstand, I can't, don't ask me to. Um, terrified to try a handstand at this stage of my life, there's no way. So a handstand is not in there for that individual. It would be exercises that are appropriate for them. So it is between a trainer and a specific client. It's gonna generate exercises for them. It's in their database and they're categorized. So I think it's a pull, push, legs or lower body movement, core, and a cardio movement. They would use this maybe off in the corner on the side, an iPad set up somewhere or on a desktop screen like this as they're working out. Super easy to see, easy on the eyes. And when they're done, they can go ahead and stop their timer. Of course, submit their results, which again, visible to the administrator, their trainer, visible to them at the same time that this workout is logged, the final time is logged. And they'd always go be able to go back and look at their progress and see their previous times over time, because of course you want to be able to complete more work in less amount of time. It's how you're getting more efficient. It's how you're getting in better shape. And after that, they could always go back and run another one if they wanted to. So the technology that was used for this on the back end, the database, is built using Firestore. I built the API using Express and Node.js. And I built the front using React and Tailwind for the styling. And uh, just like Lorenzo did, I decided to deploy mine using a small startup called Google, so it's on there as well. In the future, I think AI would be great for something like this. Of course, the more somebody uses it, the more it's gonna learn as far as if they keep regenerating and rerunning it, they probably don't like something about it. It could be adaptive for uh, maybe monitoring their progress, they're getting faster, to move some things in and out, and also kind of cater things to their preferences. Real-time notifications as well. So notifications that can be pushed out by a trainer and they can get immediate feedback from the client as well as client leaderboards. Always great to make it a little bit more of a game, make it more of a competition, build a little bit more accountability and adherence to a program. Uh, these are areas you can follow me on. Just don't follow me home. It's a little bit weird. Um, but please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. And uh, that is my email as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you.